wait, I'm beginning to remember. SoapNet. Pure soap 24-7. Hope you're enjoying the sweltering humidity while I practice my parasailing and scuba. Then race to the sinful casinos every starlit night. Love, Cass. Sadist. <laughs> this is never going to work. What do you got there, some sort of spy camera? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing if I don't get it fixed. Oh, I really love Cass rubbing it in about that humidity, by the way. <laughs> I'm just glad he's not sitting in his hotel room. Hey, you are freaking out because I'm not coming up with anything on Lucas. I can't believe that guy is so squeaky clean. Not even a traffic ticket? Hmm. Maybe Mitch was wrong about the guy. Maybe he's as scary as we think he is. Yeah, could be. Yeah. That's about it. Excuse me. My name is Lucas. Looking for Frankie Frame. No, I haven't been able to get a handle on Lucas yet. Whatever he's doing, he's keeping it to himself. But you can bet it's not what he says it is. No, no, no. Don't do anything at all, all right? I got a little plan to smoke him out. Just stay in touch with me. Okay. What was that? Business. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? No. I recognize the tone of voice. You were talking in a very low voice. I don't usually yell on the phone, Donna. Michael, you know what I mean. Donna, it was business. You're up to something, and I'm not going to leave here until you tell me what it is. Russ, do you remember the last night we were together? Yes, I, I remember. You weren't there the next day when I came home. I, I, I hated myself so much. I wanted you to forget all about me. Forget you'd ever even know my name. And so I left. Yeah, with no explanations. I remember all of that. So what the hell are we talking about I, now? Russ, I ran. And when I stopped running, I tried to build a new life for myself. And it wasn't easy. But at least I wasn't alone. I, I had Josie. Yeah, Charlene, and, and I don't And she made all the difference, Russ. She was the only thing that kept me going during all those years that I was trying to survive. Josie is the most... Beautiful, wonderful thing that's ever happened to me. And and I and I gave her everything. Yeah, well, I, at least you every, everything explain. that I could, but there was one thing that I could not give her, and that was a father. And I, I, I tried to make it up to her. I, I really tried, Russ. Maybe I was wrong. Look, will you tell me why are you telling me all of this? Because. What? Because it's you. What? You are Josie's father. What are you saying? I mean, what the hell are you trying to tell me? Josie is your daughter. My daughter. I was pregnant when I left. With Jason. my child? Yes, you can see the birth certificate. And you never told me all these years? It was just that once How she could you was do born, that to me, Charlene? Was... How could you Russ? do it? Russ. Offer. I mean it, Michael. You're up to something. This is fantastic. Now, don't try to evade the issue. The queen of secrets herself is worried that I might be keeping... Michael, them. this isn't funny. I... I know, Donna. You're right. Secrets aren't funny. That's probably Jamie and Victoria. You didn't tell me they were coming over. Well, I thought we should help them start putting their lives back together. <sighs> Don't you think that's something that they should be doing for themselves? I have a little surprise for them. A surprise? What kind of surprise? You'll see, you'll see. Hello! Oh, hi! hi. How, How are you? you? Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Oh, I'm so glad you invited us over. It's been so long since just the four of us spent some time together. Hi. Right. Now, we have a lovely lunch planned for oh. you, and we can all sit around and have a, have a nice chat. No, I'm sorry. I can't stay for lunch. Oh, Jamie, you have to. Michael, why don't you go make some of your famous Bloody Marys? No, I'm, I'm oh, mad. Yes. I can't stay for lunch, and I certainly can't drink. Oh, but surely you can just have... Donna, you said you had a surprise for us. Could you tell me what it is, please?